we came across a video posted by Amit Malviya, the BJP IT cell head, uh, with the claim that Pakistan Zindabad slogans were raised in Bharat Jodi Yatra. Video doctored by Dirty Tricks Department. The BJP is doing the rounds to discredit the highly successful brand. ये कोई मुझे लगता है लाइफ का नहीं है. Somebody has privately shot. Privately shot. Yes, we. Are you all going in there? Okay. So, so, I mean, it's twenty seconds. This is thirty-four seconds. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Rajesh. See, this is the one, right? हाँ, but this is Rahul Gandhi. हाँ, the guy was here. Yeah. Yes, I'm the guy. But can you click? The game ball. Yes, I'm calling. We are trying to go get into the bottom of this and get the original video, analyze what the slogan may be. We don't know what the slogan is at this point in time. So this is a story which is work in progress. propaganda on social media and misinformation were weaponized to create very very dangerous narratives individuals have been targeted organizations have been targeted but that is when probably uh, uh, prateek came up with the idea maybe we have to have a website wherein we uh, have all this uh, web uh, fact checks dumped <laughs> On uh, I think 31st of July 2016, uh, March was announced that people will march from uh, Ahmedabad to Una. So as part of that, my mother and I we walked 10 days from Ahmedabad to Una, and uh, yeah, that was definitely a changing point in my life. because i hadn't done something like that before i thought i could use my skills to do something more where there's a more there's a larger societal benefit so i think it was on the fifth day of una when i decided that i you know i don't want to be a full time software engineer anymore I also was working in a software company, which was a little more comfortable. I could take my family outside um, other countries. So leaving all that, I mean, <coughs> convincing was a little tricky part because by then uh, we didn't know where we were heading. We did not have any finances, and again, it took me some six more months. I could convince my wife. I could not convince my parents, but they could not stop me. Actually, <laughs> it was only me and him who started. Then we. try to reach out to people who we follow on twitter asking them why don't you help us like it's just two of us and we are not journalists and we don't know how to do a few things to alt news aap shayad jante hai ki aise jo fake news hai misinformation hai iske khilaf kaam karte hai isliye hum hum aapko phone kar rahe hai kya bata payenge ki isme kuch मतलब the the second thing that we do and which we are doing more and more is we look at uh, mainstream media and we look at what is the misinformation they are putting out what is the problematic content that that we are putting out pratik the story is ready from my side it is Trump who popularized the the phrase fake news, but we don't typically want to use the phrase fake news. We use uh, 
two terms misinformation and disinformation. I would say the largest majority of people, probably 90% plus, are people who are consuming and sharing misinformation. They don't know that this is false. And they are the small percentage, 5 to 10 percentage, who know something is false, that is it is, and they still want to share it. And those are the people who are putting out disinformation. As soon as I get up, uh, I'm always on the phone, uh, even on the bed, like I, so I mean, I always have this in mind, we, we have a meeting at around 7, 30, uh, 11.30, so I'll have to have at least one story, if there's one, at least a story, so that I can assign it to people there in a team. I think uh, what makes us a good team is, uh, number one, we complement each other's skills. I have a certain set of skills. He has a certain set of skills. Some of those skills are common. Common. I recently taught this dish by someone. So basically, it's you have this base of curd with garlic and spring onion and some salt and pepper, and then you put sunny side eggs on top of it, and then you garnish it with some butter and chili flakes. Any independent media organization in India is under a constant threat right now, but there's a constant legal threat, uh, you know, constant threat of raids and all of this. बहुत मुश्किल था ना जो चीज़ हमें इसको फंसाए थे छः सात केस बना के इसके ऊपर जो उसे परेशान करे ट्वेंटी थ्री डेज फॉर व्हाट ट्वेंटी थ्री डेज फॉर ट्वीटिंग अ क्लिप ऑफ अ मूवी एंड 1983 मूवी ट्वीटेड इन 2018 विद द क्लेम दैट इट इस इट इस डिस्टर्बिंग पब्लिक डिसऑर्डर इन 2022 दैट दैट इ क्या कर रहे हैं हमने वही परेशानी पंद्रह बीस दिन हो गए आज क्या कर रहे हैं कल क्या कर रहे हैं इधर से न्यूज़ भी कुछ भी नहीं मालूम होती हमारे हस्बैंड भी बहुत रोकते थे मैं भी रोकती थी The moment Zubair was arrested, it it was no longer just national news. The world was talking about it. सबका साथ था हमारे पास सबसे ज़्यादा प्रतिका और केमी का In an important development, the Supreme Court today ordered the release of all news co-founder Mohammed Zubair on interim bail in all six FIRs registered by the UP. Why uh, arrest him on bogus charges? Number one is to warn us that, look, we can do this to you. And second, it was a mass, massive fishing expedition to find that he has done This is the breakthrough moment. This is the police on fire. You know, we are constantly surrounded by hate, by misinformation. It's, it's, it's not a space where in terms of the work we do, you know, we always have to face the dark side of the society. I remember like in 2017 or 18, there was one 
uh, incident where uh, a, a woman was beaten up mercilessly she was actually lynched to death and it was so bloody the video uh, so uh, i think me and prateek had watched it probably more than 100 times just to find a little clue about the video so do din i mean after two two odd days like i i probably fell ill many youngsters like uh, in our team would want break at least if they see such videos for a long time we've been planning this outing uh, probably from a year or so uh, the work as you said like it's so toxic why not take a break for a, two, a day or two and leave all the mobiles like we leave all the work and then probably go outskirts and have a good trip away from twitter especially away from twitter thing एडिबल डक्स mental health in india costs a lot and we are a non profit organization and we can only afford so much i've also been asked to uh, be on the stage so nice. I, this is the first time so i don't know how the first time in kolkata or first time on no, stage no. first time on stage in front really? of the audience yes yes i've never been i always avoid it yes. i mean it was prateek but you were superstar uh, they made me yeah. one, but i'm not <laughs> so prateek sina mohammad bhai prateek received so many threats ei kaaj ta korar jonno ebong onake ei kaaj bondho korte bola hoyeche আর জুবেরকে তো জেলেই ঢুকিয়ে দিয়েছিল আমরা প্রথমে প্রতীক সিনার থেকে শুনে নেব যে কিভাবে আমরা প্যাসিজমকে রুখব হোয়াট ইজ দ্য বিগেস্ট থিং দ্যাট ইজ হ্যাপেনিং রাইট নাও ডে ইন এন্ড ডে আউট রাইট নাও ডে ইন এন্ড ডে আউট দ্য মুসলিম পারসন নেক্সট টু ইউ ইজ বিং ভিলিয়নাইজড এন্ড ইট ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট দ্যাট দ্য ওয়ার্ক গেটস রেকগনাইজড নট জাস্ট বিকজ ইট ইজ গুড ওয়ার্ক বাট recognition leads to more people more eyeballs more people knowing that orkis exists following it mujhe ek wahan pe jail inmate ne bola aap zubair bhai aap aane ke baad aisa hua ke bahut sare aise jo illegal cheeze hoti thi ye khatam ho gayi unko laga ke agar ye banda wapas bahar chhutega hi turant jaise hi chhutega ye pura jail walon ko expose ek tweet karke jail walon ko expose kar dega to at least ye sab karna band kar denge at least till he is here amader shobhay shesh we never expected that all news would become such a big brand right i'm not used to this <laughs> damage is still there the society is still degrading every single day it is becoming more hateful more divisive but we are slowing down the process and that is why fact checking is important that is why working on hate speech is important that is it slows down the degradation of the society as it is happening today <laughs> 